what was that like coming back from your one-on-one knowing that you were going to you know still be in the running with 30 other women Mm -hmm. and knowing that he's going to start some really other strong relationships like where was your mindset in the kind of days and weeks to come so I think that's like such a good point and yeah having had the first one-on-one like you you get it as you're speaking I was like yep I know Mm -hmm. where this is going because I definitely experienced it um like I said earlier I was really set on just like going with the flow you know I was like okay like if this is meant to be it's going to work itself out like that was my mentality and that's not always like a great mentality to have like some like sometimes you got to put in work and effort and you got to like you know prioritize things and you can't just always go with the flow and and that's something I've learned about myself like in the past but also through this process so um as much as you like try to be cool you know you're like okay I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be cool with it mm-hmm. like it's fine like it's hard not to see and, and it was very apparent like it becomes very apparent very early on that Clayton has strong connections with um, multiple people. So it's not easy because obviously I was very invested um, immediately, 10 minutes into the car ride on my one-on-one, I was like, (laughs) okay, I'm in. Um, So it's tough, but I think it was good because I had that balance of trying to go with the flow, but also like recognizing that relationships take work and effort. So. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. It's tough. It's, it's going to be tough. It's like the toughest dating experience I've had probably, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting concept. I'll be interested Mm -hmm. to watch it back as well. Yeah. Well, as are we, 